Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's look at this example. Again, we have an infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity. And how can we tell if this converges or diverges? Well, what we can do is to see if the nth term as n goes to infinity will actually converge to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of this quantity right here, 5 n to the third plus n squared minus 2 divided by n to the fifth minus n cubed plus n. And so what happens to this term as n goes to infinity? Well, what we're going to do is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over n to the fifth, 1 over n to the fifth, because n to the fifth is the largest component in the numerator or the denominator. When we do that, this becomes equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of, in the numerator we get 5 over n squared plus 1 over n cubed minus 2 divided by n to the fifth. Divided by, here we get 1 minus 1 over n squared plus 1 over n to the fourth. Now we can allow n to go to infinity. As n goes to infinity, notice what happens. Every one of these terms that has an n in the denominator will go to zero. The only one that remains is this one, which becomes one. So in the limit, the nth term as n goes to infinity becomes zero plus zero minus zero divided by one minus zero plus zero, which is simply equal to zero, which means eventually the terms go to zero in the limit and therefore we can assume that this summation will converge. Another way to look at it, like we did before, you can say that these terms right here do not, are not significant compared to this ratio, and since the exponent in the denominator is larger than the exponent in the numerator by the number 2, so you can say that if we have the infinite sum, if we compare that to the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity, of 5n cubed divided by n to the fifth, which is equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 5 divided by n squared. This then becomes a p-series, and the exponent is larger than 1, n squared. Therefore, we know that this converges. We can then assume that this will converge as well. So there's different ways of looking at it to find out if your infinite series converges or not. And that's how it's done.